Hey guys, Evan Oric here back with another video and today we're going to be doing a review on the Bandai Showa Kidora figure. So my favorite thing about this figure is the detail. Now the detail is well above average on this figure mainly because of components like the facial detail. With facial detail we have really nice things to notice about this. I really like the teeth and the kind of snout and the uh, horns right here on all three heads. I also like the jagged edges or the spikes on the top of the neck here, or the back of the neck and both all three necks right here. I also like uh, wing detail. Wing detail could be a little bit better, but for what it is, it's really nice. I think back of the wing detail is also really nice with these lines, really nice. Scales, of course, is also one of the main detail uh, pros. I think that they did a really nice job on this. Right here, we can see the scales uh, all over the chest, a little bit um, by the wings as they begin, and then they spread out to become more of a smooth surface. But the scales are all over this, and rightfully so, because it's sticking to the design and in a very nice way. Um, so I definitely think that is and of course the many other reasons as to why the detail is the best part about this figure. The next best thing about this figure is the articulation. Now before you guys go, well Evan, you've, I've heard you complain a lot about articulation on figures more recently. That's because the newly released figures tend to have issues with articulation that hasn't had enough. But what a surprise, the fact that this is vintage, and by vintage I am referring all the way back to 1984, as you can see on the foot maybe, maybe it was a little bit too small for you. But regardless, the point is, is that vintage figures tend to do better with articulation, and this is a prime example of that. There are many joints of articulation, but we have the wings right here. Uh, uh, both of which go 360, as you could have just clearly saw. We have the heads. Uh, they don't really go 360, but because of the other heads, which are interlapping, but that's normal. I'm not expecting anything else because that's physically impossible to do anything else other than that. We have both legs right here, and we have the tail. Really nice. So in general, that is around seven joints of articulation, and I'm honestly really happy with that. That's, again, seven joints of articulation, eight joints of articulation, and for a Bandai figure, what can I say? Really, really well done, and that is nearly as good as the detail, just slightly below, because there always is room for improvement. The next thing I like about this figure is the paint job. Now, the paint job on this figure, before you might think, because it's the least uh, biggest pro, is maybe slightly above average. That's not actually true. I think this is still well above average. All the main pros about this, the detail, articulation, and paint job are all well above average. Now, before you go, well, how can you like the paint job when it's primarily just one color? but it's the shading and also the golden colors that we see throughout the figure that I really, really like. Examples of this golden color that show up more is, I don't know if you can see, but they did a little bit of a golden contrast on the knees there, really nicely shaded. So nicely shaded that you can see it better in person, but of course in the lighting on a video camera, it's not as good. Hopefully you can see it now though, now that it's kind of in a darker area of the set. They also did golden shades on the edge of the wings right here, where I'm putting my fingers, tracing it around right here, and they did the same with right here with this nice golden color on the edge. There aren't many booming colors, however. I think the, still there is some nice booming colors with the tongue there, but that's really about it. Um, the color on the eyes does need a little bit of work. It's kind of out of place in some areas, such as this eye on how it's kind of like a black streak going off of it. I do think that needs some more work, but that isn't a con or even a nitpick because it's way too specific. And speaking of cons, let's get into the cons of this figure. So when it comes to the cons of this figure, I really only have two nitpick cons because this figure is really, really good. To get the bigger flaw out of the way, I really do think that the wingspan is not big enough. Now, if you look at the design, it's accurate height-wise, but not in terms of the width and how much it spreads out. I'm not saying it's as big of a wingspan as 2019 Kodora. I'm simply saying it should be a little bit more than this. I feel like they work too much on the height and how tall the wingspan goes rather than how wide it extends out. And I think that's kind of a bigger problem with this. I really just don't see why they could have made it a little bit wider. I think it would have been more accurate and it would have looked cooler than this unsatisfying extent that it goes to in terms of its width. In terms of the second con with this figure, which is a even smaller nitpick, is that even though the detail was the best thing about it, the detail on the two tails here is really pretty bad. Again, because the detail is the best pro, that's why this is in general a very small nitpick, but this almost looks like an artichoke. It doesn't, it really doesn't look like much of a feathery two wing tail. I think they could have done more with that because we could easily with the detail get that this is kind of a feathery area as is accurate to the design. But with this, it's stuck onto the actual mold of the figure, which is kind of unsatisfying to look at. In general, I would rate this figure a 9.4 out of 10. It is a definitely good vintage figure, but because it's vintage, it is unfortunately expensive. However, good digging, especially on sites like Showcase Daikaiju where I got this and you should find this 
for a good price in no time. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys later and bye bye <laughs>